What's up everyone, Tara Roberts here again, bringing you week two of DFS Bargains. We're looking for those value guys to help vault you to victory and have I got some steals for you this week. Let's kick things off at the quarterback position and it's Teddy Bridgewater who is my bargain quarterback of the week. It's the juicy matchup against Jacksonville that really piques my interest here. Last week, Tyrod Taylor dropped a beautiful 24 point performance against the Jags and this week it's Bridgewater's turn to cash in. The loss of Jerry Judy is definitely a bummer, but expect good things for Bridgewater on Sunday. Moving on to running backs, and the first player that I want to look at is Chase Edmonds. He was on my list last week and had a very solid game with 12 attempts for 63 yards, four receptions for 43 yards, and one touchdown. This week, he faces another good matchup against the Vikings, who gave up a huge game to Joe Mixon last week. That matchup, price, plus a price point that didn't really adjust much from last week, makes him a good repeat for me in week two. And moving on to our final running back, we'll head over to Philadelphia and look at Kenneth Gainwell. The Detroit running backs had a field day against San Francisco last week, and it's very possible that history repeats itself and the Philadelphia tandem of Miles Sanders and Kenneth Gainwell goes off. Gainwell looked solid last week as the RB2 behind Sanders with nine carries, two receptions, and one touchdown, plus one that should have been a touchdown but was called back due to an illegal man downfield. But you know what? Let's sneak in one more running back. Let's talk about Javante Williams. Javante Williams was sadly outperformed by Melvin Gordon last week, but their carries were evenly split. Don't expect a sudden pivot away from Williams by Denver just because he didn't have a fantastic week one especially against a Jacksonville defense who gave up touchdowns to Mark Ingram, Philip Lindsay, David Johnson. Yeah, yeah, you get the point. It's going to be a field day. The Broncos backfield should thrive on Sunday. Moving on to wide receivers, and let's talk about KJ Osborne. Apparently, Minnesota does in fact have a wide receiver three, and it's KJ Osborne. We've been skeptical if another receiver could even provide value within an offense that has Two superstar wide receivers plus Dalvin Cook, but the numbers don't lie. Osborne caught seven of nine targets for 76 yards. He's incredibly cheap and a huge bargain if he can repeat similar numbers. Another very low-priced receiver to look at this week is Cedric Wilson. With Michael Gallup on IR, Cedric Wilson will be the next man up. Now Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb will of course command the vast majority of target share, but it's worth a gamble on such a low price to see if Wilson can pay off. And let's wrap things up with a tight end who somehow is still a great bargain despite being on a team with insane pass game and despite having more targets than the assumed tight end one on the team. Who's the tight end? It's Dalton Schultz. He was six for six in targets last week for 45 yards, which isn't huge, but it's huge that he saw more targets and a higher snap count than Blake Jarwin. That's a great sign, particularly when Dallas is looking to fill the targets left by Michael Gallup. So... Thank you for tuning in. That wraps things up for this week's DFS Bargains. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your lineups next week. I'll see you again soon.